the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire update video. In this video, I want to go over what George R. R. Martin recently said about HBO's new Game of Thrones series. As I'm sure most of you already know, HBO has been developing a number of different Game of Thrones shows based on George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire novels. This summer, HBO will be releasing their follow-up season to their incredibly successful series House of the Dragon. Not only that, but they're also developing a new show about the adventures of Duncan Egg. It's already been confirmed that filming will begin on the Duncan Egg series in roughly three or four months. Well, as if that wasn't enough already, George R. R. Martin revealed HBO's next Game of Thrones show in his new update on his Nautablog website. In his new update, he said, As it happens, HBO and I have our animated shows in development set in the world of A Song of Ice and Fire. None of them have been given the green light yet, but I think we're getting close to taking the next step with a couple of them. When this last round of development started a few years back, we had four ideas for animated shows, with some great talents attached. Writer's Room and Summits, online and scripts followed in due course, but alas, two of the original projects were subsequently shelved. Now, for those of you who read my updates over the years may recall that I like to say shelved rather than killed, as nothing is ever dead for good in Hollywood, and something that once set on the shelf a year ago can be taken off the shelf a few years later. I still have hopes of presenting the stories that we shelved in another form, like maybe as graphic novels. Work on the other two animated shows continues, however, and meanwhile, we have Move 9 Voyages, our series about the legendary voyages of the Sea Snake, over from live action to animation. Budgetary constraints would likely have made a live action version incredibly expensive, with half the show taking place at sea, and the necessity of creating a different port every week. From Driftmark to Lease to the Balisk Isles to Volantis to Karth to, well, on and on and on. There's a whole world out there, and we have a lot better chance of showing it with animation. So now we have three animated shows underway. Now, will any of them actually make it to air, or happen at all? There's no way to know. Nothing is certain in Hollywood, but if it does happen, with one or two or all three shows, I hope we can make them as gorgeous and good and gripping as the Blue-Eyed Samurai. We will for damn sure try. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Although this new show hasn't been given the full green light, it sounds like the series about the Sea Snake and his legendary voyages will likely be the next to release. And while it is unfortunate the show will no longer be live action, I hope the animated format allows for them to create something that's visually stunning and maybe even more detailed than they originally had in mind. Now, if it were up to me, I would always go live action. I feel it's a lot easier to immerse myself and get invested into a story whenever it's live action with real actors, sets, and locations. If I'm being honest, I've never really been a big fan of animation. However, with that being said, I would definitely watch something animated if it were made by HBO and set in George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire universe. Although it might not be my favorite format, I'm not against it either. I'll be watching on release day, when and if they ever make a full series order. Now, I also hope this means the Sea Snake will eventually have a larger role in House of the Dragon, since they'll likely release an entire show centered around his life and adventures. Now, if you're someone who follows all the updates and official announcements from HBO and George R. R. Martin, you know this isn't the only show they're developing. As we already know, they're making House of the Dragon second season right now, and they're about to start making Duncan Egg's first season, and they're still in the beginning stages of making this animated show about the Sea Snake. However, we also know they're developing a miniseries and feature-length film about Aegon the Conqueror and his sister wives. IndieWire's article states, According to sources, HBO is keen to move forward with a series about Aegon Targaryen, also known to Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire fans as Aegon the Conqueror, whose lineage extends throughout House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones. HBO and Warner Brothers may also include a feature film to tell the story, either as a tie-in to the series or something else. Now, as you all know, there's also been a lot of buzz around the show about Jon Snow and his life after the events of Game of Thrones' final season. As of right now, the status on that series is still up in the air, but we know for a fact they were making it alongside Kit Harington and his own team of writers and directors. In a recent interview, George R. R. Martin made another shocking revelation when he said him and HBO were developing eight different shows based on his novels. That's right, not six, not seven, but eight different Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire shows. 
Now, we might already know what half of these shows are based on what I've already discussed in the video, but they're still working on a lot of different things behind the scenes. I would love to know what other ideas they have. Hopefully, one day, HBO will make an official announcement of their own. Until then, I will let you know whenever I find out any new information from other reliable sources. Now, in other news, we also found out HBO will begin writing Season 3 of House of the Dragon very soon. According to Redanian Intelligence, they will begin writing the third season at the end of this month. Now, that doesn't mean they will begin filming or anything like that, but the writers will begin to flesh out their ideas for where they want the story to go. Remember, George R. R. Martin recently said he was locked in the writer's room for three or four days. He was most likely there as an advisor, giving them ideas and information that will hopefully help them stick the landing. I fully believe they will, since the ending has already been written. I am excited to know they're already working on the third season, and I can't wait to find out what's happening behind the scenes with Duncan Egg once they start filming in the next few months. As you can see, there's a lot of new and exciting things happening in the Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire fandom. We're a little over a year away from having several Game of Thrones shows on the air at once. It won't be long before HBO starts to dominate the ratings once again. Make sure you subscribe, that way you can stay up to date on everything that's happening with all these new shows. As always, I have to thank all of you for watching another video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.